Classic hardcore, but I can only use arcane spells. I have to get to level 60 as a mage without dying a single time. Okay. But I can only use one school of spells, and that is arcane. I have a semi-team builder. This not have access to any frost nor fire spells. Things that you're used to having as what? a mage that makes your life easy, such as frostball, frost nova, fireball, fire blast, ice block, blizzard. Nothing of this will be at your disposal. Wait. Now, what does arcane actually have? Well, if you take a look at the list, it's not bad. Dude, it's gonna be arcane missiles and arcane explosion. And then he has blink. The good thing is that he can make food, though. Bad teleports, conjure water, polymorph, blink. A lot of pretty useful utility spells. Yeah. But in terms of combat spells, spells that I will be using not a to lot. kill my enemies, arcane only has access to two. And those are arcane explosion and arcane missiles. Okay. Yeah. Arcane Missiles might be the least used spell in all of classic history. It's simply just straight up worse than the Frost of Fire alternative. Uh -huh. But the greater issue at hand is that you do not even unlock the spell until level 8. Do you understand what this implies? Guess it's time to start bashing some wolves. Okay. I wasn't actually sure how bad this was going to be. But as I took on my first wolf, it became clear that this was not going to be quick. He doesn't have, yeah. Unlike other classes that use melee weapons, mages have very low base strength. And Oof. each point of strength only gives one attack power. Unlike warriors, where each point gives two, mm -hmm. or rogues, who also get attack power from agility. Even well, they also, he doesn't have any abilities. He's almost dying to a level two mob. I think the level two wolf was scarily close. But grinding my way through the level one wolves, I eventually finished the oh, first God. quest and hit level two, mm -hmm. which is also when I get my first usable spell, Arcane Intellect, <laughs> which of course does nothing because I have no spells to spend my mana on. But feeling yeah, I confident, think Arcane I tried my four. luck on a level three pig. Or six? Can't, I can't even kill a pig. I'm running. Oh, oh. my god. Why would he oh, do this? Come on. Okay. So it's getting Lavinia. pretty obvious that high level mobs are out of the equation. Uh -huh. And I was simply going to have to grind low level mobs. Eventually. Oh, it's level eight. Yeah, because Fire Blast is level six. Yeah. We gained some levels. While it was somewhat difficult to get quests done, most of them in the early game zones are easy enough. And considering mm. the time it takes for me to get anything done, each quest completion is a massive time save. But at least I had saved up enough coins for my first upgrade. With this mm. new staff, I could confidently take on the boars without having to worry about dying while looking away. That's not but bad. But I had my sights on something greater. After a quick search on Wowhead, I managed to find a much, much better staff for sale outside the store. Yes! So while I tried my- You could get some fat items, actually. It's like some, some gray items that are like four silver or so. Uh, this is so pointless. So, the point of video games, Victor, is to have fun. And if this guy's having fun doing like a hardcore arcane only challenge, why the heck not? Hand on troll and failed, I decided to just stick to low level mobs to save up That's enough the point. cash for this massive upgrade. After half an hour of bashing, it seemed like I had enough for the price that was listed on Wowhead. Mm -hmm. So, I ventured out into Dunmoro proper and headed into Karanos just to find out That's that I so actually good. didn't have enough. But no worries. The price listed in Ironforge was lower, so I traveled there quickly oh. to check it out, and it was the same price. Shall so I, I think went and did months? a quest and then finally bought the staff. Look at that DPS, 4.2, what? <laughs> now finally I stood a chance That's against so the funny. trolls, and I even made my way into the cave. The boss was a bit sketchy, but a nice dwarf decided to take pity on me and help me out. Oh, nice. Now from this point onwards, it was going to get a bit tough. Enemies outside the starting zone are too difficult for me to take on, and I can oh, only yeah. kill them by bringing them to 50% HP, then letting a guard finish them off. This Dude, that is miserable. What? Also means I basically can't do a single quest, and to get to level 8, I would have to do this kiting technique for hundreds of mobs. But no! Then I got an idea. If I can only do starting zone quests, why don't I just go to another starting zone? Yeah, I'm a bit over leveled for most of it, but any quest is better than whatever I'm doing right now. So Is I he going to milk all the starting zones for all it's worth? I hastily jogged onto the tram, and after a necessary sweaty logout skip, I arrived in Stormwind. From here on out, it was Dude. just business as usual. Do some quests, stand in a line, and eventually after 3 hours and 30 minutes, I hit the faded level 8 and unlock them arcane missiles. Now, if you're like me, you haven't really used arcane missiles before. Its major problems are its insane mana costs and also the fact that pushback the completely pushback. cancels the spell. Yes. Which can drain your entire mana pool in seconds if you're not careful. It's horrible. Ooh. Oh, that's good damage though. Jesus Yo. Christ. That is a lot faster than the staff. But with that said, the damage it deals is crazy. 
I had no issue at all yeah. just slaughtering these kobolds. But after the kobolds, I harvest them back to Karanos and continue level there for a bit. And you get a drink after every second mob. But I guess that's just the mage experience. I blasted my way through the rest of the zone. And once I hit level 10, it was time to decide on our first talent. Dude, look the at his auction bars, by the way. <laughs> it's just fucking arcade missiles all over. <laughs> to decide on our first talent. The arcane talent tree is a bit weird. It starts off extremely strong. We can choose yeah. between no pushback at all when casting arcane missiles. That's insane. 10% more hit chance of arcane spells. Both pushback. of these would help us out a great deal, but while resisting something is somewhat annoying and can be yeah. fatal, completely removing pushback from arcane missiles, which is our main damage dealer, will get us out of a lot of sticky situations. That's insane. A big priority was also to get professions up and running. I eventually wanted to settle on mining and engineering, considering Eng is just insanely powerful when it comes to utility and damage. But before I could do that, I first needed to get my tailoring and enchanting up. Enchanting oh, dude, this guy's smart. I like it, because he's going to make that wand, bro. Get enchanting to 75, make the big wand. That thing... If you get that wand, it will literally carry you to like level 30 almost. It's so good. And you can get it at like level 10. It will give me access to extremely strong early game yeah. wands. That on top of the arcane talent, Ooh. which increases wand damage, makes it a considerable force alongside so good. arcane missiles. But to create the greater magic wand, we need 70 enchanting. And to help us get there, we have tailoring. With tailoring, mm. you can craft ropes, which you then disenchant to level your enchanting. Yep. So I spent almost an hour at these trogs, and when I thought I had enough, I headed over to Ironforge to create my first wand. This was you, a you need like, I think like a hundred or so linen for everything, or maybe a little bit more. You need a buttload of linen. There's a really good spot you can farm and, as a horde in Silver Pine. Of course, not the greater wand yet, yeah. but it's a start. It was now time for us to move on to Loch Modan, but also to look forward to what's in store for us at the late I like Loch Modan. At level 14, I will be unlocking Ark explosion which will let me tackle multiple mobs at the same time if mm -hmm. i'm feeling brave at 16 we get arcane missiles rank 2 which will be a massive dps upgrade over rank 1 mm -hmm. but Kinda the news. biggest level we are looking forward to is 20. at level 20 we unlock blink which is our only form of movement blink. but more importantly escape then mm -hmm. we also get mana shield which practically doubles our hp against physical attacks as long Dude. as we're willing to spend some mana and Good. then finally we reach a vocation which lets us fully restore our mana with the channel these are some pretty big spells mm -hmm. while they don't do much in terms of damage they will greatly increase our chances of surviving during our time in Loch modan it was mostly calm waters i even oh. cleared the cave in which i've never died a single time at all so stop asking these weird questions man <laughs> just just move on then i spent yeah, the rest yeah, i feel like he's lying but of my time gathering more linen, yeah. but then uh, this happened. Apparently oh, when that guy the reset. Past me, he aggroed his mob, it then turned towards me, and I was not in the state to fight two trogs oh, at no, once. No, no. If I didn't use the big health potions, I probably would have died. Of yep. course I could have played it better, just polymorph one instead of trying to run away from both, but you know, it is what it is. Panic and all that. I so feel like it was good. officially our first close call. I don't think you understand how strong I am, man. Like, you'll be there. You'll have Jod on your team with his blizzard and his frost snow. And you're going to be like, where is Yampa, man? Like this Wait, I just... Hold on a second. He is Swedish! I could fucking tell! Sorry. <laughs> I could tell, man. That way he said that yay, that J, he's fucking Swedish. I could tell. His DPS sucks. But I eventually managed to get enough linen to finally craft the greater magic wand. And this also allows me to drop tailoring and enchanting, replacing it with mining. I and knew there was something bad about him. He, 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 it was too good to be true. Engineering. I was at level 15, which let me start specking wand damage. And I swung by the trainer to learn arc mm -hmm. and explosion. Then it was off to Westfall. Okay. I leveled very late at night, but Westfall was still absolutely cramped. Yep. It was so hard to find mobs to kill, which meant sometimes I kind of just had to risk it and pull multiple at the same time. Ooh, but after okay. an hour and a half or so, I got to level 16. I got to turn in half a level's Moreland. worth of quests at once. Westfall is so good. I know, Mufford. It's Level sick. 16 is, of course, rank 2 of arc and missiles. And I hauled some back to lock oh, down and flew to Ironforge to train it. Eager to try it out, it's now time for the slightly nerve-wracking wetland skip. But I am somewhat of a self-certified expert in stupid terrain-breaking activities. Yeah. So it wasn't too scary. I'm now off to Darkshore and in the perfect spot I want to be in. I always want to slightly overlevel the zones I'm in because arcane missiles rely heavily on killing enemies quickly so mm. I don't get overwhelmed. This it's does really good mean damage. I go somewhat out of my way to do quote-unquote unnecessary quests that- Dude, the damage is actually nuts though. 
Like from those missiles? Aren't part of rested XP, just to stay slightly ahead at all times. Arcane Missiles rank 2 actually shoots an extra missile, which I had no idea about because I've never used the spell before. Yeah, and then it's 3 and, and 4. And while this doesn't do much in terms of DPS, because it just increases the channel time as well, it's great for saving a bit of mana. But Darkshore really was just smooth sailing most of the way. Mm -hmm. The only real thing that scared me was this cave quest. We have Ooh. to go in a cave filled with Nagas to pick up some mushrooms. Death cap. As we all know, caves are by far the scariest spot to be on a hardcore character. The way respawns function mean that you essentially lock yourself in with no way forward or backward in case something goes horribly wrong. Yep. But luckily, if you stay on the upper level here, you can just get upper all level. the mushrooms without <laughs> having to drop down <laughs> into the deep ends <laughs> of the cavern which really is the scary part. Uh, but Sweden. to make it worse, the caster Nagas in here have a heal that heals them mm -hmm. straight back to full health. So if you're not careful, things can go south at a rapid pace. And they pace. have a knock. But of course I played it safe and stayed up top. Unfortunately, cool. the mushroom I needed for the quest hadn't spawned yet, but I decided to wait it out. But it just didn't spawn, man. So to speed- It's either up there or you gotta go deeper inside the cave. So I figured I might layer. So I asked my friend for a quick invite, accepted it and instantly jumped down from my rock safe spot. Why would he layer in a cave? Okay, I mean, shit. Bro, there could be like an action. Th 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 bro, why? Bling, 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 bling. Ooh, nice usage of the polymorph, though. Good save spot. Okay, so. <clears throat> of all the dumb shit things you can do. Layering in the middle of a cave with patrols and literally on yeah. top of two spawn points is maybe at the very top of that list. Yep. Luckily, I killed the healer a fraction of a second before the heal went off. So and then lucky, I made... because that healer would not, uh, he, he would keep attacking him on the, on the same spot. spot in time. If that heal went off though, it probably would have been a whole different story. But I decided to not risk killing the last Naga and just Hearthstone out. With the weak mm. adrenaline dose out of the way, I made my way back to the cave to see if the mushroom had respawned. But it hadn't. So I just I don't think it's that it didn't respawn. I think it just spawned in a different part of the cave. So he should have cleared the other parts. It is a quest and never looked back. That's about all the drama there was. I mostly avoided scary lead quests because I have no real way of hiding enemies. Mm -hmm. I need to be stationary to do damage. And I have no slows. So anything that can spiral out of control was just out of the image for the moment. I finished yeah. up Dark Shore, went back to Lock Modan to get image. a few more XP Picture. points before heading to Red Ridge, which is a place I've had close calls in before. Yeah. But this time, not much happened. And I finally hit level 20. Blink. Damn! Mana shield and evocation. These oh. finally give me some semblance of survivability. He's gonna do dead mines. Make me feel a lot safer tackling potentially dangerous adversaries ahead. The next big cool. question is if there are any foolish idiots who will accidentally invite me to a dungeon to later find out that I can't save them with a frost nova when things go downhill. <laughs> but that is um for next time. Dude, this was a good video. I mean, we I know he he made like a whole series out of this. We could have definitely uh, watch some more of this, guys. But I think that might be tomorrow, chat. Because we do gotta get going with some other stuff. But uh, I'll leave the channel right here, guys. Check out uh, Yampanos. Check out Yampanos.